So yesterday, Kia wore the um, uh, Sir Single with the buoys attached, and I also had um, a noodle um, attached that was um, bopping her kind of on the back a little bit, hanging out. So we're just working on a lot of desensitizing for her. She's kind of a um, can be a little bit of a flinchy, touchy horse. And my goal today is to do a little bit with the flank rope, um, which I know is going to really bother her. Um, that's a rope that goes around her belly, and um, she feels a little bit of squeezing and pressure the way she would a back cinch while she's in motion, um, but with no uh, saddle attached. And um, that can really help desensitize, especially mares who can be kind of kicky about that back end. So she's doing really well with the bag. This bothered her a lot in the beginning, too. She started out the session today um, kind of accepting but not relaxed about it. And now she's getting really to the point where she's relaxed, too, not, um, not moving away and avoiding the flag there just a little bit. But right as I turned on the, the camera, she had a nice lick and chew. So the point with the flank rope is not to make them buck or to scare them or cause a big ruckus, um, but just to build on some trust um, and desensitization that we've done before. I don't always do it, but I do do it with um, horses that are a little bit flinchier and touchier and more likely to be reactive, just like you, um, which can really be nice, nice, nice horses um, if you get all the way through to the point that they're really trusting. So really looking for um, submission and relaxation, not just tolerance of um, these bothersome things. And now we have a little bit of rain to deal with too. So Julie, I will see you tomorrow and we'll get to do some of this stuff in person, but just wanted to give you a little update, show you what your girl is working on in the uh, desensitization process this week.